Hello everyone. Welcome back to the last part of this tutorial. The simulation with the dynamic mesh finished. As you see, it was a little bit faster than the fine mesh, so maybe it made sense to do a refined uh, dynamic simulation, maybe not. I let you decide, but let's take a look at the results. So here we have the coarse mesh, the fine mesh. Let's open up the dynamic case. Okay, and let's create the clip with alpha 0 0.5 here and let's translate this and ah, oh, there is a difference. Let's translate this in the positive x direction. So there you go. There is a difference, as you see. Let's start in the beginning and let's assign a different color. Let's maybe make it green. Let's rename it to dynamic. Very good. So starting point and again, don't skip the zero time and now take a look at the animation. So you see there is a difference between coarse, refi uh, fine and fine mesh and the dynamic mesh. And as you see, you do have a free surface in most of the geometry. So here the solver had to refine everywhere. This is what I meant. Does it make sense in this case to use the dynamic refinement if what we gain by using in certain regions the coarse mesh we lose in the refinement and unrefinement. But it, we do capture the major features in all three cases, but there are fine features which we do not capture in the coarse mesh, but we might capture in the fine with the fine and the dynamic mesh. But there are differences and this is up to validation which one is correct. This is just a tutorial case. I want to show you how you can run the simulation. Okay, so these are the results. Now, what I still want to show you the, is the concept behind what I wanted to show you. So as you saw, it was rather easy to change the refinement of the grid. And even if you went back and refined it here, you just uh, click on gedit, you enter one or maybe four entries, you execute, these three commands and then you have your new mesh without having to re remember the, the commands uh, because you have it, everything in the case that which you just downloaded from the internet, from my GitHub account. Also, you can do similar parameter studies and maybe let's do one such a study or two, let's see. Uh, What's ha what happens if we would change the viscosity? So we don't use water, we use something else. Let's close for that this. And then let's go out of this and then make a copy of the coarse case. And let's just say it's coarse two because nothing comes to my mind at this point. And let's just change the viscosity to 10 to the power of minus 3, which would be, for example, glycerol. Well, very pure glycerol. And let's take a look at the flow of that. Okay, let's go into there. And let's copy, no, not, not copy, but remove. time and now you could just open this up 
or for this is uh, this is why I'm showing you. In six months, you come back, you want to run this case for glycerol. And okay, ooh, where do I change now the viscosity? All you have to remember is SH setup case, which is in the PDF. So no surprises there. And then you click yourself through all this from left to right, from the top to bottom. No, there's not where you can change it. Not here either, not here either, not here either, not here, not here. Trans property properties, ah, there is the viscosity. This is where I can change the viscosity of water. And now you could change here the name of water. I just leave it as water. We know that when we say water, it's not water anymore. And I change it to three. So we have a viscosity of one Pascal seconds. If you multiply them up, I just save this and I will run the simulation. Like this, Interform, Enter. Now the simulation runs. Let's wait one or two minutes until it finishes. And I will do a quick evaluation of that case also. But as you see here, with this approach of having a fully commented case, and also the summary of the commands that you have to execute. This will improve your the, the time, uh, this will reduce the time that you need for a case setup because you don't have to remember them. You don't have to check on the internet. You don't have to rewatch a video. You don't have to check a, a handout. You don't have to read through a PDF. You just go to the case that you always need and most of the important informations are already there. And if some, something's missing, then feel free to enter that into the case because they are, the dictionaries are text files. You can fill them up with as many comments as you want. And here again, from left to right, from top to bottom, now this was set up for Interform, but you can adapt it, that to the, to the solver that you need for your simulations. Let's take a look at the simulation. Yeah, it will finish soon. We are at four seconds. Let's wait until we reach five seconds and then I open it up. And then feel free to take a look at different viscosities or you can change the inlet velocity. What happens if you change it to one? Where do you change it? So let's go to, um, to the text editor and then you click yourself through if you don't remember alpha p and u, this is the velocity, ah, maybe there you can change it. And yes, here you just change 3.5 to 1 or 10 or whatever you want. Of course, if you change the velocity, it's a good idea to change the, the end time because if you're slower, it takes longer to fill the geometry. If it's faster, then it doesn't take as, as long as here. F feel free to uh, play around and you can change with the viscosity, the surface tension, but for that, you really need a good refinement of your grid. Okay, so simulation finished. Now I will just open up the simulation course two apply and then scalar alpha 0 0.5 apply and I will move this maybe in the y direction because this is a different different parameter study. Oh, as you see here, now this is the glycerol and let's make this purple. Okay, as you see, these are the same refinements and there is already a difference. If and The only difference is that we changed here the viscosity. And uh, yeah, there is oh, the refinement is not the best. So maybe you can try it out with the refinement, refined grid or the dynamic mesh. But as you see here, the flow seems to be 
more um, simpler. It doesn't move around as in, with the lower viscosity. And as you see, it, uh, the, the level of the liquid is also more stable, less wavy. Okay, so there is a difference between water and a liquid with a higher viscosity, as you see in this case. And you can try out six different viscosities. Try out olive oil, try out motor oil, try out whatever you want. Play around with a higher grid uh, uh, refinement with a dynamic mesh. Just try out and get used to the dictionaries and this idea of the commented files and the uh, commented foam dot foam files. Yeah, so this is what the last time steps look like. We do get more or less the same level as you see because we have the same velocity. But the type of the flow is different because we all, all, always change something. So with that, let me go back maybe to my presentation here and close um, this tutorial with a couple of remarks. So what did we do? We answered a, a question, uh, what can you do within a couple of hours? You can learn what the case setup looks like. I suggested uh, an extended case setup with a case folder, a mesh folder and geometry folder so you don't mix up them and then there you can run within that one folder your parameter studies if you want to do so. How do you set up a case? All you have to remember is the, the, those two um, commands sh setup mesh and sh setup case and then a text editor of your choice will open up and go from left to right to top to bottom and then the most important settings are commented so you can decide what you want to change and what you want to leave and now it's up to you this is a case and just modify it and implement it into your own application change the geometry the stl files separate them in your cad tool um, uh, uh, defining your later boundaries and just go through the simulation project just like I just showed you. And how can you uh, restart? This is the idea with the comments that in six months you come back and you open up the case, you go through the steps, you remember the two commands sh setup, mesh and sh setup case, and then just go through. You will remember a lot, trust me, something you will not remember, but with the commands they will come back very easily. And as I mentioned, you, you already saw that ve uh, this, uh, velocity file and also the co control dict. And remember SH setup case and SH setup mesh. Okay, so download the files uh, if you haven't done so and you didn't do the simulations with me. And I would like to ask you one thing, please, if you're doing now the simulations and you come back, six months later or maybe you have the project that start, starts next week please in a couple of months in three or five or six months once you gather a little bit of experience with this approach that i suggested in this video please give me a, a feedback give us a feedback to wiki at openfoam.com what do you think about that what are the pros what are what do you think we should further develop what I should further develop and what are not the best ideas and how we could improve those points. So these were the topics that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope that you enjoyed the videos and that you learned something and I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.